So county line up today with uh, a familiar formation really, a 4-2-3-1 uh, with uh, Ben Hinchliff in goal, back four, Sam Minihan, Ash Palmer, Liam Hogan of course scored that winning goal last weekend and Dan Cowan at left back. The two holding midfielders today are Jordan Keane alongside Sam Walker. Nice balance there with a right footer and a left footer. Adam Thomas starts wide left. Danny Lloyd, uh, sorry, Adam Thomas wide right. Danny Lloyd wide left. And uh, in the hole is Elliot Osborne behind lone striker Liam McElind. And subs today for the Hatters, uh, goalkeeper Ian Ormson alongside Niall Bell, Ben Jackson, Festus Arthur and Connor DeMeo. County corner then. It's uh, Sam Walker, the veteran midfielder, standing over it. Chips it in towards Thomas, who glances it on. Here's a chance. Here's the opener. Danny Lloyd has scored on his return to Stockport County. It's taken him five games, but in this one, it's taken him five minutes from close range. He taps it home, and County have the advantage here. It's Woking nil. County one. Uh, he's taken that really well, Danny Lloyd, on his right foot as it's come to him. He's just steered it in between defender and goalkeeper to get it in the bottom corner. What a finish. He's delighted with that, Danny Lloyd. I think for a moment the Woking fans thought he was trying to celebrate in front of them. He was just so excited. He's that kind of player and he's loving this moment now. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, what a touch from Lloyd coming in off the left, trying to take on the fullback. It breaks kindly for now for Cowan. Cowan's cross is deflected into the path of Keane. He'll strike this one from distance on target. Keeper saves. It stays 1 0 at this stage. Now Jack Cook's going to hurl a throw in here from the right-hand side for Woking, looking for Diara. Oh, and it's an equaliser for the home side. It's turned home quite comfortably by Wall. County just switched off completely. The long throw. And Alex Wall, with his first goal for the club, has levelled the match. Well, County's lead lasted for less than six minutes. It's one apiece. Good player, the big centre-half former Plymouth trainee, County corner, Walker again, left footed in swing, a Palmer trying to get there, Gering was right behind him, the ball's still loose, Gering gets his head to it, the goalkeeper spills it, and it's oh. off the line, remarkable clearance by Jack Cook. Wow. And again, there's a, a stoppage for a head injury this time, McAlinden, the victim. Wow. Oh, Danny Lloyd can't believe that's not gone in. Well, they've got a free kick now over on that left wing. Needlessly conceded by Ash Palmer, just bundling his man to the ground. So Kretschmar standing over it, takes it right-footed, looking for Alex Wall. It was a little too high for him. Breaks loose on the edge of the box. Lazar with the initial attempt. What a block by Ben Hinchliff, and then cleared off the line by Hogan. Here's uh, Lozar off the left-hand side. He's found Cook. Cook in an advanced position. Lloyd's gone with him. Cook will work it into the gap now, but Minihan with the tackle. Sends it away towards Lazar on this right-hand side now. Lozar turns it back to Cook. Cook plays it forward. Chance here maybe inside the box for Lazar. His shot is deflected onto the top of the crossbar. What a block from Liam Hogan. But um, in the end, it came to nothing. Yeah. He'd rather have a free kick in the middle and a ball wide on the left wing. There's no question about that. Oh, minute. Oh, he's let the ball run. Ash Palmer's switched off completely. What was he thinking? The only thing you would say, this referee is prone to give free kicks to the defending side. Let's hope that proves to be the case here. Because Ben Hinchliffe can't see it. As the ball comes in, it's headed over the bar. Kretschmar to take, right-footed outswinger this time. And it's headed over again by the same player, Kane Ferdinand. Well, Festus Arthur, of course, on the pitch now. Palmer's up from the back, so's Hogan. The ball towards Keane! What a save wow. from the goalkeeper, diving to his right-hand side. We're into stoppage time at the uh, end of the 90, three added minutes as Jackson floats this ball. That's a poor delivery, you know, from Jackson. Easily headed away by Wall, looking for Nerfville. It's taken off his toes by Minihan, who plays it forward. Casey, brave header to get it clear. But oh, Jordan Keane's won it from Poku and found Bell! Oh, inches away from Niall Bell. What a shot that was from the county substitute. Oh, if that goes in, it's one of the goals of the season. So unlucky for Nile Belt. And there goes the final whistle. It is one apiece. 
County still can't beat Woking Football Club, but uh, they put up a good fight here this afternoon, but it, uh, it means they have to settle for a point. 